In this talk, I am going to cover the management of gram-negative multi-drug resistant organisms. The two most important part of the non-enterobacterial gram-negative organisms are the Acinetobacter and Pseudomonas. First, I will cover about the Acinetobacter. You know, if the Acinetobacter is a sensitive, the first line ag agents for the susceptible organisms are the broad spectrum cephalosporins, third and fourth generation like the ceftazidime and cefepime, a combination of beta-lactam and beta-lactam inhibitor, and the oracarbapenem, amepenem, meropenem or doripenem, and ampicillobacter. So a susceptible acinetobacter would be sensitive to all these antibiotics. Before I go ahead, I think it's important to have the definitions very clear. Multi-drug resistant, extensively drug resistant, pan-drug resistance. There was a lot of confusion about this terminology. The European Center for Disease Control and the Center for Disease Control in uh, USA, they both had a consensus definitions which are described in this slide. Multi-drug resistant is described when an isolate is non-susceptible to at least one agent in three or more antibiotic classes. We use the term extensively drug resistance when the isolate is non-susceptible to at least one agent in all but two or fewer antibiotic classes. Similarly, the term pan-drug resistant is used when isolate is non-susceptible to all agents. So the terminology when you use this term should be very clear in our minds. There are studies published from the, our, our country where they have shown that these multi-drug resistant or the XDR, they are prevalent in the ICUs. They have spread all over India. And this is a study which was published in Indian Journal of Anesthesia where they shows, uh, it shows that the Acinetobacter species were the most common pathogen isolated from blood and lung infections. And they also showed in the ventilator associated pneumonia, this was the most common bacteria isolated from the early as well as late onset ventilator associated pneumonia. There are studies which have been published earlier where they have shown that uh, this was a one of the cohort study of 45 patients where they showed that it was associated with attributable mortality of 8% and excessive ICU length of stay of 5 days. And there are other studies which all have shown that if a person has a carbapenem resistant Acidobacter, it was associated with greater risk of death as compared to a sensitive organ.